Electrical safety is no accident. Shock, electrocution, arc flash, and arc blast are potential hazards faced every day by people working on or around energized lines or equipment. Burn injuries as a consequence of an arc flash incident are a major concern in today's workplace. The most severe burns are the result of the ignition or melting of clothing, not by the original exposure to the electric arc flash. Most synthetic fabrics melt at temperatures below 315 degrees Celsius or 600 degrees Fahrenheit. Acetate, polyester, nylon, polypropylene, and spandex, either alone or in blends, shall not be used. These materials melt as a result of arc flash exposure conditions, resulting in more extensive burn injuries. Fortunately, advances in flame-resistant fabrics have resulted in clothing that will protect workers from this hazard. The American Society for Testing and Materials, or ASTM, has developed test methods and set the standards that these products must meet. The following tests will show you how various fabrics respond to these rigorous standards. In this test, the mannequin on the right is wearing a natural cotton fiber garment. The mannequin on the left is wearing a flame resistant or FR garment. This was a 14 to 16 calorie per centimeter squared exposure. Notice how the cotton fabric continues to burn after the arc flash occurs. In a 14 to 16 calorie per centimeter squared exposure, a worker would most likely be stunned or unconscious as his clothing continued to burn. Although the worker represented by the mannequin wearing the arc rated FR clothing would experience the same initial impact of the arc flash, they would not experience the subsequent injuries as the clothing will not sustain combustion. In the next demonstration, the mannequin is exposed to a 64 to 67 calorie per centimeter squared arc flash. This is an extreme situation that could easily kill or injure a person not wearing the appropriate PPE or personal protective equipment. To make matters worse, the mannequin is wearing non-FR clothing and a non-arc rated face shield. Face shields not tested to ASTM F2178 standards will melt and drip when exposed to the intense heat generated during an arc flash. Non-rated face shields are not appropriate when working in or around energized equipment. As you have seen, the mannequin has two big problems. The clothing continues to burn and the face shield begins to melt. Combining the burning clothes with the dripping face shield material, the victim of this type of accident would suffer life-threatening burns. In this demonstration, the mannequin is exposed to 40 to 45 calories per centimeter squared arc flash. Although the mannequin is wearing FR clothing, you can notice some warping of the face shield. The face shield would provide protection from dangerous heat and provide primary protection from debris ejected during an arc flash event. ANSI rated safety glasses or goggles should be worn under the hood or face shield to prevent injury. In the two seconds it takes for this flash to start and finish, it is obvious that no one could react quickly enough to get away from the explosive force of such an event. The only way to be protected is to wear the proper PPE from head to toe. To reduce the risk of exposure to an arc flash, work on de-energized equipment whenever feasible. Salisbury provides a complete solution of arc flash protection. This includes appropriate FR clothing, face shields, electrically insulating rubber gloves, dielectric boots, insulated tools and accessories needed to greatly reduce the risk of serious injury from arc flash exposure. Salisbury's Pro Wear line of arc flash clothing is fully compliant with both NFPA 70E 2004 edition 
and ASTM F1506. It also meets the requirements of OSHA 29 CFR 1910 subpart S. This includes jackets, pants, coveralls, and bib overalls with arc thermal performance values or ATPV that range from 8 calories per centimeter squared to 100 calories per centimeter squared. Salisbury's Arc Flash clothing is constructed with Westex Endura Ultra Soft. Endura Ultra Soft fabrics are guaranteed flame resistant for the life of the garment while retaining the natural comfort and feel of cotton. To simplify specifying and ordering, Salisbury offers Arc Flash kits that provide all the PPE necessary to protect a worker from both electrical and Arc Flash hazards. Each kit includes the appropriate rated Arc Flash clothing, rubber insulating gloves, leather protectors, a glove bag, safety glasses, hard hat, and durable storage carrying bag. It's important that Arc Flash clothing be properly maintained to ensure its reliability and long service life. Here are some of the basic care requirements you should follow. Wash garments at the temperature necessary to clean them, not exceeding 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Never use chlorine bleach or additives that contain chlorine when washing the garments. Use a mild detergent. Prior to wearing, inspect the seams, zipper, and hook and pile fastener systems to make sure there is no damage that might compromise the function of the garment. The proper care and use of PPE can greatly reduce the risk of serious injury resulting from electrical arc flash or shock. It's important to make these guidelines part of your daily work routine to help ensure your safety on the job. If you're unsure about safe work practices, get help from a qualified person before you start the job. From all of us at Salisbury, thanks for watching. We hope you have gained new insights on staying safe when working on or around energized electric equipment. For more information about our products and services, please visit our website at www.arcsafety.com or www.whsalisbury.com. You can also call us toll free at 877-406-4501. Salisbury, your number one resource for personal electrical safety protection.